Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley. The current temperature now at the Tulsa International Airport stands at 41 degrees, but with that wind today, we have the sustained winds out of the south upwards of about 17, pulling down that wind chill now down to the freezing point of 32 degrees. But we do have warmer high temperatures and low temperatures on the way, folks. Over the next several days, we have 60s and 70s for highs before we have those high temperatures and low temperatures crashing down for later this week and also next weekend and some wintry precipitation on the way. We could be looking at a freezing rain scenario for eastern Oklahoma. So at this point, it doesn't look too good for later this week and next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Tahlequah now at 36 degrees, also about the same in Veneta. 40 for our viewers in Bartlesville and from the mid 30s to right around 40 around Bristow and also in Oak Mulgee. Down to street level we go in BA. 40 degrees is your current temperature, but temperatures by tomorrow afternoon easily into the 50s. But more clouds coming in and still those gusty winds to contend with. We have those south winds right now sustained between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. And we've seen those gusts today upwards of about 30 miles per hour in T-Town. The official daytime high today was 41 degrees after that very cold start of just 18 degrees above zero. The average high temperature for this time of year stands at 47 degrees. But again, we have 50s, 60s and even lower 70s on the way. As Corey mentioned, lots of rainfall out west. We have even some snow as well, but the biggest concern around northern Nevada and northern California with rapidly rising rivers for the overnight period through tomorrow on Monday. Check out some of those temperatures. Now Phoenix at a warm 74 degrees, though mid 60s in Miami, 22 in Philly and 20 in Boston after a lot of snow yesterday. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation for tomorrow on your Monday. Lots of sunshine probably in the morning, then increasing clouds up from the south, partly to at times mostly cloudy skies for early in the afternoon, mostly cloudy to cloudy skies by later tomorrow afternoon as the clouds surge in. But overnight tonight, mostly clear to clear skies, just like last night, not as cold. Temperatures dropping off into the 20s. We have Shakota down to about 26 degrees. Sepulpa comes in at 25. South winds between about 10 and 15. Mostly clear to clear skies. Those overnight lows anywhere from the mid 20s in Stigler at 25 degrees. McAllister comes in at 31. South winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. So the bus stop forecast tomorrow, it's going to be cold out there. Sunglasses, the jackets needed and also gloves at about 28 degrees as you roll off to the bus stop. But by lunchtime, partly to at times mostly cloudy skies jumping up into the 40s and 52 degrees by later tomorrow afternoon. Daytime highs anywhere from the 40s to the 50s. We have Venita at 52 degrees. Gusty winds by the afternoon gusting up to around 30 or even 35 miles per hour. More clouds coming in by the afternoon. High temperatures into the 50s to close to 60 degrees in McAllister. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast. Breezy conditions on Tuesday, mostly sunny skies, almost at 70 degrees, lower 70s on Wednesday. Chance for rain coming in later on Thursday and rapidly those temperatures coming down on Thursday, especially the cold air really surging in on Friday. We could see some again freezing rain Friday through the weekend as that wintry type of that precipitation comes into eastern Oklahoma. Just when you think it's about to get good. Yeah, Guess roller coaster what? ride this week for sure. <laughs> All right, Brandon, thank you so <laughs> uh -huh. much. Now let's go ahead and send it over to sports.